Ether is a combination of all existing gas, chemicals and elements that exist in and through nature. Mm. So nine ether is the most potent. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like a combination of all conscious and conscience gases. Yeah. Is this unseen or seen? Both. Mm. Right. See, that's what I'm saying to you. Like Again, that's actually a good question mm. because when people say unseen, what it is is things are there, but just because the eye can't see them doesn't mean they're not there. Mm -hmm. So scientifically, if you're looking at like the periodic um, element chart, you'll have, they will say hydrogen, H1, was the first element. This was before they knew there were things beyond hydrogen. You get it? So even in mathematics, like, you will have zero, but you can have minus one, minus two, minus three, going that way. And then going this way, you're gonna go one, two, three, four, five. So you can always subdivide things, yeah? So when they're dealing with, um, like, the beginning of atoms, they used to say before they had apparatus to kind of look at what they call quantum physics and subdivide atoms, they used to say hydrogen was the first element. Then you had helium. But now with technology, they were able to break down um, the smallest atom and then they realized that you had quarks, zeolies, biaps, you see what I mean, going that way, which is subatomic. So now they're able to use apparatus and see um, lighter or smaller elements beyond, beyond the um, hydrogen. So does that make sense? So even though they were saying there's nothing, because when you say nothing, what you're saying is no thing. The, the, the sum of things go to the right. So the, they will say H1 because they can sum it up. So they will say something, but people just hear S-O-M-E-T-H-I-N-G, but it's really S-U-M-T-H-I-N-G, the sum of a, a thing. So what is a thing? You see what I mean? So when you go lower, there's still things which they will say no thing, or we say nothing. Mm -hmm. But if you took a, a cup, you have to create space within the cup or the glass, even though you're saying there's nothing there, mm -hmm. but you created that space so you can put something in it. So that's why in Islam, for example, they say that, um, well, the master teacher, Pana Babi Anun, or Dr. Malika Ziyu, back then he was saying that Allah created the state of nothingness mm -hmm. to then create things. Everybody was like, that's crazy. How can you create the state of nothingness? But that was just like the example I gave about creating the space and the glass to put something in it. So what people are calling like the universe actually comes from something. And, and we can go into the, you know, the planets and so on and so on as well. But yeah, so um, things exist in the unseen world and people will say spirits, ghosts, and you know what I mean, go into that realm. But they still exist. Mm. 